And our final liquidity ratio is the cash flows ratio. And uh, it's a great ratio because it, it takes the uh, notion that if we've got an invoice or some sort of bill that's due this week as a current liability, it's got to be paid from only one of three places. Either the cash comes into the business from operating activities, so selling goods and services from cash sales, collecting money from debtors, collecting GST. Or if we can't get it from there, we're going to have to pay that invoice from investing activities. That means we're going to have to sell a non-current asset. The alternative would be we have to get the money from financing activities. So that would be money from borrowings or capital contributions. And the good news is, or the ideal situation is, we'd like to do it from the operating section. So if we had that invoice, we'd like to fund it from cash generated from day-to-day -day trading of goods and services, which would be the perfect result. If we can't, we're going to either have to sell a non-current asset, and that's bad because we can never use that asset again to generate future cash or revenues. Or we're going to have to use financing activities. Now, if we get a loan, that increases our debt. And on top of that, we actually have interest payments as well, which is uh, not a good result. Or the owner makes a capital contribution, and that's a limited source of money. People don't start businesses to give them money. They start businesses to take out money. So that's a negative uh, sort of source of cash as well. So the cash flow ratio is great because it actually looks at can we pay our current liabilities from the operating section. And we do that by taking the net cash from operating activities and dividing it by average current liabilities. So to get the average, we will take current liabilities at the start of the period and at the end of the period and get the average of those two numbers. So in this case, we've got $120,000 of net cash from operating. So that would be all our inflows less our outflows is a net cash result of 120 divided by average li current liabilities of 50. That's a ratio of 2.4 to 1. So what does that mean? It means that if I have any liability and there's a dollar of them, say down here that have to be paid, so money needs to leave the business, my operating section is generating $2.40 in net cash to pay them, which is excellent. We've got well and truly enough cash coming in from the operating uh, section. So to explain that, we say for every dollar of current liabilities the firm has, the firm's operating activities generate $2.40 in cash to pay them. Trying to interpret the trend, if it went from $2.40 down to 0 0.4, the problem there is that the operating section now to pay that uh, dollar of current liabilities is only generating 40 cents. So that's a bad trend. We've got worse liquidity because our operating activities are generating less cash to fund our current debts. If that ratio went up to 3.2, that's a very good trend. Um, that means our operating section is actually generating $3.20 in net cash to pay that $1 of current liabilities. We have more uh, cash from operating activities to fund our current debts. Looking at the example of owing a dollar in current liabilities and having a cash flow ratio of 0.4, well, the, the bad thing about that is bills have to be paid, otherwise we go out of business. So for every dollar I've got of current liabilities, my operating activities are only generating 40 cents. I can't not pay people, so I'm going to need to get the money from somewhere. And the problem there is I might have to get, on average, 25 cents of that liability from investing by selling non-current assets, which we said is bad. I also might need to get 35 cents from financing by borrowing the money from either the bank or the owner. And together that equals a dollar. But it's not a good result because the bottom two sources, investing and financing, are short term and in the long run we end up worse off. So that's why the cash flow ratio really has to be well above 1.0.